We will talk about sinusitis, its most common signs and symptoms, the causes of sinusitis, effective treatment options, and what can happen if it is left untreated. Our facial bones contain cavities known as sinuses. When these sinuses become infected and inflamed, it is referred to as sinusitis. We have four pairs of sinus cavities. The first is located in the cheekbones, the second in the forehead, the third between the eyes, and the fourth behind the eyes, deeper within the skull. Maxillary sinus infections are the most common and typically cause facial pain, especially in the cheekbones. Other common symptoms of sinusitis include facial pressure, facial pain, particularly in the cheeks and upper teeth, nasal congestion, and thick nasal discharge. There may also be tenderness when pressing on the cheeks. Sinusitis occurs when the sinuses become inflamed and infected, usually due to viruses, and the drainage pathways of mucus in the sinuses are blocked. This leads to trapped mucus and bacterial growth. This blockage is most often caused by a viral infection, like the common cold. Allergies, dental infections, and structural issues like a deviated septum and nasal polyps can also cause sinusitis. However, nearly 90% of sinusitis cases start because of the common cold. Around 70% of sinusitis cases resolve on their own, usually because they are purely viral infections. However, in about 30% of cases, a blockage occurs, leading to bacterial multiplication. This causes bacterial sinusitis, a much more serious condition that requires treatment. If symptoms initially improve but persist or worsen after 10 days, it is usually bacterial sinusitis and requires antibiotic treatment. If left untreated, sinusitis can lead to the spread of infection and in rare cases, it can reach the brain, causing meningitis or brain abscesses. The infection can also spread to the bone surrounding the sinuses, causing pain and swelling. If sinusitis lasts more than 12 weeks, it is called chronic sinusitis, which is commonly a bacterial infection that can have episodes of exacerbation and improvement. Exacerbations are often related to allergies or common cold episodes. Other symptoms of sinusitis can include post-nasal drip, where mucus drains down the back of the throat from the nasal cavity, causing a sore throat and irritation, sometimes leading to a cough. There can also be ear pain or a feeling of fullness due to a blocked eustachian tube, bad breath due to infected mucus, sometimes fever and dizziness, or swelling around the eyes, especially in the morning due to sinus pressure. Fatigue is also a common symptom due to the body's ongoing response to infection and inflammation. Nasal irrigation two to three times per day is crucial to clear mucus. Nasal irrigation with saline, also called salt water, is used to rinse out the nasal passages. This saline solution can be pre-made and purchased in drugstores, or you can make it yourself by mixing one teaspoon of salt with two cups of warm distilled or boiled and cooled water. Some people add a pinch of baking soda to the solution to make it more comfortable. Use a nasal irrigation device, neti pot, squeeze bottle, or bulb syringe. Fill the device with the saline solution, lean over a sink, and tilt your head to one side. Keep your mouth open to breathe. Gently insert the spout of the device into one nostril. Pour or squeeze the solution into the nostril, allowing it to flow through the nasal cavity and out the other nostril. Breathe through your mouth during the process. Tilt your head to the opposite side and repeat the process in the other nostril. After irrigation, gently blow your nose to remove any remaining solution. If sinusitis is not chronic, 7 to 10 days of irrigation is usually enough. Oral or nasal decongestants such as pseudoephedrine or oxymetazoline are also used, but they should only be used for up to 3 days to avoid side effects. Sinusitis usually improves in a few days. If it is bacterial, amoxicillin is used as a first-line treatment, 500 mg every 8 hours or 875 mg every 12 hours. Antibiotics are used for 5 to 10 days for uncomplicated bacterial cases. 
Bacterial infection is suspected if symptoms persist for more than 10 days and worsen over time after initial improvement. Nasal discharge is thick green or yellowish, and facial pain is severe, with fever, fatigue, and malaise. In cases of chronic sinusitis, nasal corticosteroids are used for several weeks, sometimes several months. Such steroids include fluticasone, budesonide, and mometasone. Nasal irrigation one to two times per day is typically recommended for one to two weeks or until symptoms resolve. Antibiotics are usually used for three to four weeks. Commonly used antibiotics are amoxicillin clavulinate, doxycycline, and clindamycin. Moxifloxin is also an option in cases of penicillin allergy or resistance. Antihistamines can also be used if allergies contribute to sinusitis, and treatments like antihistamines or immunotherapy may be applied. Surgery can be considered if medical therapy fails, especially in cases with structural issues like nasal polyps or a deviated septum. The treatment is highly effective, with around 70% effectiveness, but a complete cure is rare. In chronic sinusitis, the goal is to reduce the frequency and severity of symptoms, prevent exacerbations, and improve daily functioning. A complete cure, where all symptoms disappear permanently, is less common and varies widely depending on the underlying causes and individual response to treatment.